up guys bringing you a walkthrough of Star Wars Republic Commando um, head over to the campaign map here go to Geonosis and uh, this is the first mission besides the prologue and uh, yeah let's hop right into it yeah In this first mission, we go right into the action of the Clone Wars, and that's the, the thing that I really love about this game. It uh, puts you right into the Clone Wars itself. There's no way to skip this intro. Why does the game look so shitty? Because I'm playing on the lowest graphics so that I get the best uh, mouse to screen response with uh, frames per second. I love being inside of a gunship, man. This, this is why I love this game. But they over there do not like being in a gunship, and I'll show you why. Oh, got him! Oh, oh no! Oh. Okay. Uh, you may have also noticed why are the ATTEs and the uh, Spider Walkers going in the same direction? Did anybody ever notice that? I guess that the ATTEs are chasing them. That's the only thing I can think of. Alright, here we go, boys. Hook okay, it! Okay. Look out! No! That guy gets fucking killed. Repel down from the gunship. I used to be able to kill that. My aim used to be that good. They get blown up. My first droids. I just took an anti infantry round. So real quick guys, uh, you start with two weapon systems in this game. You start with your sidearm and your DC-17M blaster rifle, which I was just tapping those droids with over there. Alright, how do you use the Bacta? You can double tap F, tap it a couple times, that way you get the ability to look around. If not, you will not be able to look around while you're using it. Well, you can't look all the way around, but it gives you more freedom than before. Okay, moving on. I'll give myself some ammo here. Open up the next area. I'm gonna start tapping droids. They're dead. He's dead. One more. on to the next area. This guy gets blown the fuck up. Shoot this IED. Alright, here we go, boys. By the way, I just wanted to point out some Clone Wars history real quick. Real quick. When the clone troopers first deployed, when the Grand Army of the Republic first deployed to Geonosis, the clone commandos deployed alongside regulars when they were not designed to do this, and therefore suffered 
the same amount of casualties as the clone trooper regulars. So that even points out how much more of a badass Delta 1138 was because he was able to survive the first battle of Geonosis, uh, not just by the luck of not getting shot down uh, upon arriving to Geonosis, but also um, through combat prowess. And they're going to breach this area, so let's go. That guy's head off. That guy's dead as fuck. Shoot that guy's head off. I'm going to go in here now. Wait, there's one more target. Yep. He's dead. Now we're in a trench. That guy dead. Oh my god, man. What a way to go. Hit that IED. Kill this one. Got that one, yeah. Some more ammo. Dead. Dead. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up some grenades here. And see if I can land this one. Landed it. Got it. So notice what I'm doing there, guys. When I engage any target, uh, I'm aiming for the head and I'm weaving in and out of their fire. If you stand still, that's a great way to die. Crouch under here. More ammo. Go back to the station. There's your, there's my demolitions expert. Over here. Dead. Another target over there. Uh, now when when you uh reach the first areas of each or when when you meet each squad member for the first time, they have a certain specialty. Uh, six two is the demolitions expert, so he will be placing the charge. However, you will be able in the future to place the charge yourself by holding F by walking up to the structure and pressing F over the structure. Dying to blow something up. Oh, I know you are. Need some cover, squad. Sit in that. Just get us inside. G notion is coming. There's one. The charge is set and ready to detonate. It's dead. It's all yours, boss. Another G notion. Got his head, I think. <coughs> I think that was a headshot as well. I'm not sure. Spider walker over here. Uh, how did I do that? I just pressed F to uh, target the enemy target. Uh, and as you can see, it displays the health pool of the target on the left hand side of the screen and it also indicates to my squad to focus fire on that target it will not do it now because it's a spider walker it's a tank so i don't think my uh, 62 is going to be shooting at oh yeah he is look at that so he's shooting at it but it still has full health so i'm going to disengage that uh that's just the way the game is made before we move on, I'm going to uh, talk about the squad commands real quick. You have four squad commands in this game, and uh, the first one is take offensive formation, which means that you're telling the squad to move to the next objective. Uh, if you're lost and you don't know where to go, you just hit F1, and uh, the squad will the squad will go to the next objective, and you can just follow them if you're not sure where to go. The second one is F2, which is form up, and when you do that, the squad will follow you wherever um, wherever you go. And uh, F3 is secure area. 
you just point at the area you want secured and they will get down there and uh, do their best to keep the area secure. If there's hostiles there, they will engage them. The last command is F4, which is to move on from all current maneuvers. So later in the game, uh, you can assign door breach, slicing, a variety of other maneuvers or procedures to be done. And if you want to cancel all that, press F4 and all your squad members will move on from their from their task. So after they after they move on from their current task, uh, they will go back to the previous assigned orders, whether that would be uh, of these three. Take offensive formation. Delta squad forming up. This one or F3, secure position. So I'm gonna set them on offensive formation. We're gonna move to the next objective. And we're gonna infiltrate the Gene Ocean Spire. <clears throat> Remember, Delta Lead, your ultimate objective is Sun Fac, but your immediate objective is to rendezvous with Delta 4-0. Pick up some more ammo. I like to switch weapons with scroll wheel, by the way. And you can switch grenades with Q. I think thermal deaths are the only thing I have right now. Yep. Entering another room. That guy's dead. Delta 4 is on the other side of this door. Place a charge and blow it. I'll oh, dead. To step back. Pick up some more grenades. So as you can see, I'm Six able two, to place position. the charge myself on the door. Or I can command him to do it. The charge is set and ready to on the door. Yours, here we boss. go. And here is 4-0 on the other side of the door, breaking this thing's neck. Or just busting its head open. Yeah, man. So as stated before, um, normally I could just slice the terminal myself. But when you meet the first uh, squad members, uh, uh, meet the squad members for the first time, they have to uh, complete their task. <clears throat> Your squad status and location is displayed here. Working. A lot of the game is self-explanatory. Obviously, it's on screen and on the bottom left. But I will do my best to walk you through it. Go, what are these go. canisters? These are expl uh, high explosive highly flammable canisters if they get shot they will explode and they do more fire damage like area of effect damage rather than just sheer uh, uh, health pool damage you'll see me use those so here's a uh, back to Stop limping around and get like some back to heal soldier. up. If we were just standing right next to it, he would get on it and heal himself anyway. That's how smart the AI is in this game. You're nearing a secure door leading to the hangar. Activity in the hangar suggests that they are unaware of your presence. I advise slicing the controls to this door and entering IEDs. quietly via a door slice maneuver. So I'm gonna tell him to slice it because he's right there. Efficiency of movement. If I was next to the terminal, I would slice it. Here. You know, whoever's closer to it obviously should do it. That's a clean slice. So when it's uh, sliced like that, when the door is sliced, there's a lot less chance of the enemies on the other side to know that you are going in. So, and you will see that when we go in. Ready for entry. We got they don't know we're here. here until we start shooting. Advisor, we're located in the fighters out, in the hangar. Dead. Dead. Hit an IED. High explosive. See, that's what I love about this game. I never told him to throw the grenade, but he thought it would be a good idea. So there it goes. Even though we killed them all before the grenade went off. More droids down here in another high explosive container. Delta. Getting ammo, that's why I'm not setting the charge myself. I don't know why those guys aren't down here though. Can I so cover here? Easy peasy. Even though I am playing on the hardest difficulty. 
enfoncent. Charge armed and ready. Take cover, Deltas. <laughs> Going into a dark area, the uh, way to activate the night vision is X. And in we go. It's getting a little dark here. General Mod, switch to Vitha Mod. A lot of targets in here. That guy's head off. What did I do right there? That's my melee attack. You just gotta walk up to the uh, enemy and hit E. Every weapon in this game has a different melee attack. The DC-17 platform, DC-17M platform, has a similar uh, melee attack. You just extend the Viper Blade from the left wrist. Target's dead, moving on. Following my indicator in the bottom. Turn off the night vision. Oh, he was ready, man. Oh, yeah, you see? See, if you don't aim very good like I didn't do there, they can just spin around, knife you, man, with their staff. Give me an explosive solution. Setting charge. There we go. Aim is picking up a little bit better now. Yeah, it does look good. Here we go. See, it's not very high explosive. If it's not next to the droid, it won't kill it. Heal up here. I've been playing this game for a long time, guys, but especially on the hardest difficulty, you're not going to have hard, uh, flawless games. Um, sometimes I still go down if I'm not paying attention or aiming right. Gonna go over here, look for some ammo. Got my ammo. Droid. Easy picking. More targets in here. Notice, guys, I'm training myself to go for headshots only because they do the most damage to these uh, targets. For super battle droids, not so much. You will see how I deal with super battle droids. The opening at the end of this hall is directly above Sunfax planning room. You can repel down from the ledge. So that's 07 right there. You just it's gonna do a like a commando style hop on to these geos and just take their heads off pretty much. Um, he is the sharpshooter of the squad. Uh, six two is the demolitions man of the squad. Four zero is the medic second in command and slice uh, you know technology expert of the squad. I'm the squad leader, and that uh, makes up a Republic Commando squad. Oh! Oh! See you later. Seven locking into your hut, sir. Getting acquainted with the locals, eh, Sev? That was fun. Where's Sunfak? In the next room, boss. So this man has been hunting this guy, basically, just to give you an idea of how skilled these guys are. Bernie, I saved some targets for you guys. Pick up some more ammo. I can blow up this window. I can knife this window. I can shoot this window. I'm just gonna shoot it. And then we go. Sorry, my volume is kind of low. I couldn't really hear the Gene Ocean behind me. Alright, in we go. This is your first encounter with a super battle droid. These guys are very tough. Uh, if you don't have grenades, which I happen to have grenades, but if you don't, the way to deal with them is to press F over them to have your squad focus fire on their armor to penetrate it and kill it as quick as possible. With these guys, you're going to want to dodge in and out of cover because if, especially on hardest difficulty, if they hit you with their primary cannon, I think it can one-shot you. 
Um, I don't remember exactly, but if not, it will get you down to uh, one bar of health. And I'm already low as it is. But for the sake of this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how you deal with them without grenades first, and then I'm going to show you how you deal with them with grenades. Eliminate. See, I just press F over the target, and we're just going to flank it and just focus fire it down. Ocean flew in, but we're going to focus on this thing. That target's down, and there you go. That's how you deal with them without grenades. That's kind of bad. I was loaded going into the room. Tro probably don't want to do that most of the time. One more target. This is how you deal with it with a grenade. EC detonators are your best friend here. It will shut down the uh, the network uh, uh, of the super battle droid and of any droids in general. It will also electrocute organic hostiles. 4-0 is running up there. But as you can see, it doesn't do that much damage if you're far away from it. Also, if you're ever caught in the blast of your own EC detonator, the best thing you can do is run around. For some reason that equalizes the damage and it makes the electrocution factor go down a lot faster and you have less chances of dying from your own nade. But if it explodes right in front of you, that's probably too much damage. You probably will go down, especially on hard difficulty. And as you can see, very smart AI heals himself. I don't need to tell him to do anything. So. This is the first door breach of the game, guys. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, commence so, commence the door yes, breach. They get into position. What I like to do is stand on the right side of the door, and when the breach charge setter comes over to my side of the, of the door, uh, the grenade thrower will throw his nade in. Grenade explodes the left side of the uh, set of the stack will clear the left side of the room. The uh, right side of the stack, my, myself included, will go in and clear the right side of the room. And that's the way I like to do it. Detonator set. Clear. Here we go. So I'm gonna clear this left side, work on the center. And my squad's gonna take care of everybody else on the left. In a perfect world. So this is the first maneuver uh, showcased by 07. This is his specialty, the marksman. I got him. I switch over to his rifle, take a shot. Oh no, he's just gonna blast him out with his uh, uh, blaster rifle. I think that's just a glitch in the game, but normally I don't think the fighter goes down like that. That's affirmative. Subject terminated. All right, I'm gonna get some back to double tap F. I'll check the intelligence databanks. Move on, Deltas. There's no time to celebrate, Deltas. As you already know, 3-6 the squad has been incapacitated. Their mission was to disable the droid factory in this sector. Your squad has been retasked for this purpose. Proceed to the elevator. Here we go, boys. Alright, so uh, that was it for Extreme Prejudice. The next mission is infil Infiltrate the Droid Foundry. Thanks for watching this walkthrough. If you liked it, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to see future content, uh, thank you very much.